Hello everyone, welcome back to Trade Masters channel where we take the toughest of stocks with the simplest technical patterns. So today we're going to look at a mid cap industry. The name of the industry is called as Sada Energy and Minerals. And uh, this is once again a request from one of our YouTube subscribers. They wanted us to give a detailed technical analysis video on Sada Energy. So this video is for them. And in case if you guys want us to analyze any particular stock of your preference, then you can always comment the name of the stock in the comment section below and we'll be happy to analyze that particular stock for you. Okay, so moving on to today's video, Sada Energy and Minerals, it's a mid cap industry. So the market cap of Sada Energy is around 8,800 crores. So it is well above the 5,000 crore mark. So that puts Sada Energy into a mid cap industry. And this is the fact flagship company of the Sarda group and it is uh, mostly engaged in the production of steel, ferrous alloys and power. Okay, overall if you look at the uh, revenue split up, almost a 40% of the revenue is coming from ferrous alloys and 23% is coming from steels and 9% uh, from iron, 16% from pellet and 7% from uh, power. And if you look at the geographical uh, split up, almost 75% of the revenue is coming from domestic markets, that is the Indian market, and 26% of the revenue is coming from exports. So it's a good stock to hold and uh, the fundamental of the stock is really good. There is nothing wrong on the fundamental viewpoint. The management is really strong and uh, the business model is also really good and they are commanding a very good market share in uh, steel sector. And uh, that is why it's a good buy signal for a short term to medium term viewpoint. Okay, so first we'll look at the fundamentals of the company and later on we'll be moving into the technical charts. So like I mentioned, uh, the market cap the market cap of Sada Energy is around 8,800 crores. So it is well above the 5,000 crore mark. So that puts Sada Energy into a uh, mid-cap industry segment. And if you look at the price to earning ratio, it is at 16. So it is uh, above the 15 mark. So that's also on a positive side. And the ROC and ROAS are whooping 28 to 22%. So that's also pretty good. And the book value is at 93 rupees per share, but the current market price is at 252. So obviously this particular mismatch is going to happen because uh, it is almost a debt-free company and uh, the finances of this company is really good. They have a strong management backing as well. So obviously this uh, book value to price, current market price uh, difference is going to happen. Okay, so moving on to the quarterly results. This is a standalone quarterly results that I'm showing over here. And if you look over here, even on a quarterly basis, the company is generating consistent profits for the last 10 quarters. And the sales also has been going up consistently for the last 10 quarters. So there is nothing wrong on the quarterly viewpoint. And uh, this is a profit and last statement for the last 10 years. If you look over here, over here also the company is generating good amount of profit. So in March 2012, they were having a profit of almost 104 crores. In March 2023, they're having a profit of almost 630 crores. So that's basically a six times uh, jump in the profit approximately. And these guys are also paying out a good amount of dividends as well. Right, so that is a bonus sign for holding this company. And look at the return on equity. So the return on equity is at 16 percentage. Now the normal benchmark uh, index is around a 12 percentage return on equity for uh, you know on a year on year basis on an average. But over here, Zada Energy is going to give us 16 percentage. So we are getting four percentage additional from the index benchmark. So we are on a good positive sign as well. Okay. And finally, coming to the balance sheet, we have to look at the borrowings. So in March 2012, they were having a debt of almost uh, 723 crores and it has reduced uh, all the way down till 109 crores in uh, September 2023. So just within a period of almost like uh, 10 years, they have reduced the debt to almost uh, 80 percentage. And if I'm looking into the debt viewpoint, the long term borrowings has been reduced consistently. So in the March 2012, they were having a long term borrowings of almost 451 crores and right now they are having only a long term borrowing of 57 crores. Now the debt is only 109 crores, but look at the reserves. They are holding a reserves of almost 3266. So it's a huge uh, you know, difference in the ratio between the debt to reserves ratio and it's on a very good positive sign as well. So it's, it's safe to say that this is uh, actually a debt free company also. It is very close to becoming a debt free. But it's safe to say because uh, the resource is huge than the debt that is uh, incurred by the company. So I'm going to say this as a close to a debt free company as well. Okay. And finally coming to the shareholding pattern. In December 2020, the promoters are holding almost 72.5 percentage shares. And in September 2023, are holding almost 72.64 percentage. So that's a 0.2 percentage jump in the shareholding uh, potential of the promoters on a positive side. And at the same time, look at the FIS and DIS. In the FIS involvement in uh, Sarada was around 0.05 uh, percentage, 
But right now in September 2023, they increased the stake to almost 2.69 percentage. And the DIS also were holding 0.41 percentage, but right now they're increased to 3.92. So it has been a, on a continuous buy trend for both FIS and DIS. So this shows how much the institutions are positive on this company. And that gives me a clear cut direction that Sada Energy is going to make all time high very soon. So that is a key takeaway over here. Right. So the FIS and DIS are both bullish over here. The reason why FIS and DIS could not, uh, you know, uh, accumulate more of the stock is the promoters are itself holding 72.64 percentage. So the remaining shares is uh, being traded by the uh, public. So the public are not willing to sell as well. And that uh, is one of the major reasons why the FIS and DIS could not uh, mint more money. If uh, the public are willing to sell, then these guys will be holding almost 5 to 6 percentage and the DIS also will be holding 5 to 6 percentage. But that is not the case over here. We have only 28 percentage of uh, stake that is circulated to the public and even the uh, institutions also has to trade within those stake only. So the public is also not selling and institutions are facing a very good, very hard time for accumulating more and more stake in this company. So that is what I see from the fundamental viewpoint. And overall, if you combine it all together from the fundamental perspective, it's a really good buy signal for Sarda Energy. And I'm super bullish on this stock for a short term to medium term viewpoint. Okay, so moving on to the technical chart. This is a daily time frame chart I'm showing over here. And as you can see, we see a recent breakout. So this level was going to act as a strong level of resistance uh, earlier, right? So this was acting as a strong level of resistance around this particular point. And uh, recently, Sarda Energy gave, gave a breakout and it is right now trading very close to the resistance. Now, uh, as we experienced a breakout around uh, this point, that is on uh, first week of December uh, 2023, we experienced a breakout. And after that, uh, Sarda Energy uh, went into a sideways kind of a trend. But within the sideways trend also, we have a good pattern that is formed. So I'm switching over to uh, a 4 hour time frame. And we can see actually a symmetric triangle pattern that is uh, forming in Sarada Energy. So this is a symmetric triangle pattern that I see over here. And uh, on the bottom side, that is around uh, 244 levels, we have a strong level of support. That is a earlier breakout point, resistance point. And I'm expecting the breakout to happen on the upper side. But just to be on the safer side, let's wait for the breakout to happen and then we can enter into this particular stock. Okay, so before coming to the buy press, I'm going to give you the targets. So I'm going to freeze a single target for Sarda Energy and that is going to be 280. This is going to be the single target and uh, is, it is once again going to be kind of a short term investment. So within a period of three months, I'm expecting Sarda Energy to touch a uh, uh, price of almost 280. Now coming to the entry price, we have uh, two uh, set of difference. So either you can be an aggressive investor over here or you can be a safe kind of an investor. For aggressive investors, you can actually buy at the current market price and hold it for a target of almost uh, 280. And uh, that is going to give you a returns of almost, uh, let's check, almost 11 percentage if you are being on the aggressive side. But if you are a safe trader, then I would recommend wait for the stock price to close above this uh, symmetric triangle pattern. That is the stock price has to break, break out above this trend line. So this is going to be the resistance trend line. And uh, I'm marking this resistance trend line in red. So this is going to be a resistance trend line and uh, if the stock is breaking out on the upper side, it has to close above this trend line and it has to uh, close on a daily time frame or a 4 hour time frame. If it does that, then you can uh, enter into this particular stock. So let's say our closing price is going to be somewhere around 255. So if the stock is closing above 255, then you can enter into this particular stock and uh, the target is also going to remain same that is around 280. So the difference between a safe and aggressive trade is going to be only one percentage. But on the safer side, you uh, have a confirmation that the breakout has already happened and you can enter into this particular stake, uh, into this particular trade with the more amount of uh, conviction. Right? So that is the only difference between being an aggressive trader and being a safe trader. So me personally over here, I'm going to be a safe trader. So I'm going to wait for the stock price to close about 155 and then around, I'm going to take my entry. All right. So this is my entry viewpoint and coming to the targets. So let's say like this is going to be my entry price and around uh, 240 is going to be my target on a 4 hour candle close. And this is going to be my final uh, target. So I'm looking at a risk reward of almost uh, 1 to 1.7. So basically for a risk of 1 point, my reward is going to be 1.7 points. 
and uh, the overall stop loss over here is going to be 15 points for a target of almost 25 points that's uh, basically a 10 percent returns so it's a good company to hold and uh, i believe the possibility of this company touching a price of 280 is on the higher side of uh, 80 percentage so it's a very good company to hold and i'm super bullish on the stock for a short term to medium term viewpoint as well so it's a good company and i believe uh, this analysis helps you to uh, you know uh make your trade and uh have some good insight on the stock as well so that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on sarada energy i hope this video was useful and i hope you learned some informative things from this video and uh, if you like the analysis please do click on the like button and if you really want to support our channel please do consider subscribing to our channel as well and do not forget to share our videos with your friends and family members so that they can also benefit from the predictions that we make i'll see you guys in the next video till then it's bye from chris Take care, bye-bye, and thank you for watching.